percent. Well, infectious disease doctors have been very concerned about the holidays and the spread of COVID, and now they're seeing a spike in cases and hospitalizations that could be the result of Halloween. Doctors are hoping to spread the message that fighting the virus is more important than ever. This virus is just better than us, and it takes its opportunities when it can. Yale infectious disease doctor Manisha Jutani does not like the current trend for COVID-19 hospitalizations. What we're seeing in terms of rates now here in Connecticut is that there has most certainly been an increase over the last week, particularly over the last four days in terms of hospitalization. I believe there may be a post-Halloween spike that we're seeing, and I worry very much so about the upcoming holidays. Dr. Jutani believes young people are unknowingly infecting vulnerable relatives. It's people in their later 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s that I have seen a lot more of in the hospital, and many of them are not leaving their homes. They have been extremely cautious. She says many of those are able to go home. Keith Grant, Hartford HealthCare's System Director of Infection Prevention, is also concerned about a rise in hospitalizations across their system. He urges people to get tested and treated. Well, the earlier we can, we can detect this disease, the, the earlier we can get um, treatment to it. And we know now we have... Um, of formulas and medication that works very well. And this is what we should be doing. As for the near future, MIT's Hartford Healthcare model shows our state seeing just over 1,000 more deaths by mid-January. For hospitalizations, it has the peak December 17th with just over 3,000 people. And doctors point out that the coming months are colder and darker, so the virus will transmit even more, even outdoors. As for the flu season, they're hoping that mask wearing will help keep those numbers down.